Welcome back to Learn with MedNuggets. In this video, we will be talking about syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, also known as SIADH. ADH, also known as vasopressin, is a hormone that is made in the hypothalamus. It is then stored and released by the posterior pituitary gland. ADH is a hormone that regulates the water balance in our body by causing reabsorption of water in the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct cells in kidney. Abnormally high levels of ADH can lead to SIADH, while deficiency or insensitivity to the action of ADH can cause diabetes insipidus. In this video, we will look at what SIADH is, the pathophysiology, the etiology, diagnosis, treatment, and some important clinical points of SIADH. SIADH is a condition in which your body makes too much ADH. This causes increased water retention in the body, which can lead to two things. Number one, it dilutes other solutes floating around in our body like sodium. Number two, the massive volume expansion caused by high levels of ADH inhibits the release of a hormone called aldosterone and stimulates the release of two hormones called ANP and BNP. Aldosterone is a hormone that causes sodium retention and hydrogen ion excretion. As a result of the inhibition of aldosterone, more sodium ions will be excreted via urine. ANP and BNP are two hormones released by your atria and ventricles when it stretches or dilates due to volume overload. ANP and BNP, as the name suggests, are natriuretic peptides. Natriuretic means sodium in urine. These hormones increase sodium and water excretion. Remember, wherever sodium goes, water follows. This results in a euvolemic hyponatremia. So what causes this mess in our body? SIADH happens when ADH is produced outside the pituitary gland in places where it's not supposed to be made, like in the lungs. It can also be caused by CNS disorders, trauma, and by certain drugs or medications like SSRIs, carbamazepine, and cyclophosphamide. An easy way to remember the causes of SIADH for your board exams or med school exams is remember anything to do with the lungs or the brain can cause SIADH. So why is SIADH dangerous? Because of the low sodium levels. Very low sodium levels can cause cerebral edema which can cause symptoms like headaches, confusion, hallucinations, coma, and even death. SIADH is diagnosed by labs. A low serum sodium level, a serum osmolality of less than 275, a urine osmolality of more than 100, and a urine sodium of more than 40 in the background of normal renal, adrenal, and thyroid function is diagnostic of SIADH. When treating SIADH, first treat the underlying cause. For example, if SIADH is due to a drug, stop the drug. Restrict fluid intake. You can turn to drugs like loop diuretics to treat volume overload, demiclocycline, a drug that inhibits ADH, and Vaptans, like Tolvaptan, which are ADH receptor antagonists, if initial measures fail. In patients with acute and severely symptomatic hyponatremia, immediate use of hypertonic saline can prevent serious neurologic complications like seizures, altered mental status, cerebral edema, and brain herniation. However, for patients with chronic hyponatremia, you should be careful when using hypertonic saline to correct sodium levels as rapid correction can lead to osmotic demyelination syndrome which can cause coma and paralysis of all four limbs. To avoid this, correct the sodium slowly at a rate of about 8 MEQ per litre per day. 
Thank you for listening. Have a great day.